How is it going guys? Today I want to show you a flow tech trick. Um, I took inspiration for this trick by a video on YouTube by Silver and Black where there is Alexander Bakvarov uh, performing a part of this trick and then I made my own last part. Watch the video until the end because I'm going to show you an opening for this trick and also another uh, an alternative closure for this trick. Uh, don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe. And Let's jump into the tutorial. So the trick looks like this. As you see, it's not a very uh, clicky trick. It will not click much on, on, on stage, but it's very eye catch in my opinion and very uh, fun to throw. So let's throw a breakaway and let's go into a sub mount by bouncing the yo-yo into the top string once. From here you want to take this string right here with your non end index finger and then you want to roll the yo-yo around both of your hands clockwise, like this. From here, continuing the movement clockwise, you want to grab with your thumb this leftmost string right here and then you want to unmount the yo-yo from the front and let it rest on your index finger. Like this. So you have now the yo-yo with a loop around your throwing index finger and you want to, um, again, continuing the clockwise motion, rest the yo-yo on the bottom string that you have here in this kind of a triangle. Like this. Then you want to take your to throw an index finger and wrap around the inner cup of the yo-yo like this and then wrap it back always around the inner cup of the yo-yo and then wrap once on the outer cup of the yo-yo from the front like this you are in this configuration right here with your thumb you want to take this rightmost string and underpass the yo-yo like this you want to pinch on your non throwing index finger like this and then use this lock, wrap it around and back uh, of the mount and grab it with your throwing index finger. You are in this configuration here which you have a sort of a little tower. You want then to release your throwing index finger. You go into a green triangle that you have to pop up from towards you. So we want to pop up the rest on the on the string and you can bind. From the beginning, bounce, sub mount, take the opposite string, roll the yo-yo, grab with your thumb release the yo-yo from the front and rest on the same string where you just unmount and wrap your index finger, wrap it back, wrap on the uh, forward cup then you want to underpass with your thumb, pinch, throw the non throwing index, roll the slack around, intercept it with your throwing index then you want to release, green triangle, pop out and buy. One suggestion that I got, um, when you are unmounting the yo-yo here, okay, so you're grabbing with your thumb and then unmounting the yo-yo, you want to move the mount a little towards you, just uh, just a little towards you and the yo-yo a little forward, so that uh, you're not ending up uh, uh, catching unwanted string like that. Let's check it out uh, from my perspective. Throw a breakaway bounce and go into a sub mount. From here you want to grab this string with your non throw end index and roll the mount clockwise. Then you want to catch this string here with your thumb and unmount the yo-yo from the front. Let it rest on your throw end index finger and then you want to intercept this string here to lay the yo-yo on like this. From here you want to roll your throw end index finger around the inner cup of the yo-yo counterclockwise and then coming back clockwise and also you want to uh, roll 
your throwing index finger around the forward cup of the yo yo like this. Then you want to um, underpass with your thumb onto this string right here. So you are in this configuration, pinch here on your non throw end index, release your throw end index. There is a slack that you have to intercept on the other side, release your non throw end index. You are in this little tower, release your throw end index, green triangle, pop out from the back and bind. So as promised, I show you an opening and a closure for this trick. The opening is the beef hook. This trick is a very flashy way to continue a beef hook. So I'm not going to teach the beef hook here, but let's say you are into a beef hook. You want to roll it clockwise and rest to be on a sub mount. From here, you can do your trick. Again, from the beef hook, roll, sub mount, and go on with the trick. And the closure that I want to teach you is when you are dismounting the triangle, you see that you have this twist on the string. If you enlarge this loop right here and let it fall on the forward cup of the yo yo, and then roll with your throw end clockwise you end up in a green triangle and so in one movement it looks like that I hope that you found this video interesting and useful. As always, please don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. I'm Diego B. Thanks for having spent a bit of time with me today. So long.